PX got the ultimate inside haunted a house small experience. Home in Grand Junction lies a house of horrors. Plan on getting scared. Ron Wade, a local in Grand Junction, has transformed his home to welcome only those who dare to face the unexpected. To see the, some of the kids' face, they're either happy or they're scared. It's good to see him scared. A tradition that started 10 years ago with his son Jeremy. Sitting on the porch dressed up and a couple girls came up to the door and uh, he stood up and I stood up and they both fell over in the cobweb. That's when he came up with the idea to offer the ultimate Halloween celebration for those who are not in a financial situation to do so. We got a, we had a lot of comments about from parents saying that they're glad we're doing this because they couldn't take their kids to a haunted house. So KREX 5 News reporter John Madden entered at his own risk. I'm ready. Uh, not really. A few steps in, Madden had a sneak peek of what was coming his way. That's a uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> As he found out, this place was not clowning around. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm not looking. Facing one of his worst nightmares. <laughs> I hate spiders. Struggling to get to the end. <laughs> he almost didn't make it. <laughs> that, that got me. That got me. And what better way to end a haunted house than with a Grand Junction Chainsaw Massacre? <laughs> Wade says he will continue to do this tradition until they themselves get scared. First on the Western Slope, Camila Barco, Carriax, 5 News. John's a tough guy when he's reporting on Ooh, pop. Yeah, oh, yeah. Haunted house, a... you know. <laughs> I also love Wade's jacket. I need one of those. <laughs>